right. So you're saying, uh, man, I added the thought process after closing the door. Oh, watch this. You should probably... So there's only movement here. Either you cut right when this door starts to move, but also the weird thing is that the door is moving without the hands pushing it. Uh, you could also just make the door a bit thicker. And there needs to be a little bit of movement in here. I don't know if you had that and you took it out, but everything kind of starts at the same time, but after the door is moving, just as a, as a little thing there. Uh, so hold on. Move the hands so it doesn't look like it's touching the table and added some IRs and brows. For the close-up, I didn't make her lean on the table. I couldn't figure out the speed and when I did it, it just looked awkward. I just added some breathing and a little hand stuff. I keep going on. Uh -huh. If I do keep this, I think I need to move the camera because she seems too center in the shot. All right, let's see. Well, like this. That's nice. Oh, that's great. Why is it so hard to find a good man? She is... Well, hold on. She's not super center. Whoops, that is me being an idiot. Um, ish, I mean... Kinda. I mean, you could technically do this. Center, the center line is here now. So you're moving her even more to the left and you're a bit closer. So you, you don't have to show all of this thing. That could be something. And it's the rest is really cool. Just the beginning what I just said there. Because it feels a bit magical how this door closes. And the hand reaches the handle right when the door closes. It all feels a bit post to post still. <clears throat> and then also this, even though it's like a frame or two afterwards, it feels like the leg is timed with the door. So watch out for that. But that's great. I love that. That's all cool. That is a bit slow and, and floaty. That hand. It's a bit. The timing is too even. Watch out through here. She feels like a stick where everything pivots off of here. <clears throat> and all of that is just one big piece that pivots. There is no breakup between any of these sections. And it feels like even though there's maybe a slight delay, but it feels like she hits the back and this comes together at the same time. So the feeling the two pose to pose. But the acting and the looking and all that is great. <clears throat> there's a slight feeling of IK. Especially through here at the beginning. The hand is here and it's kind of locked in space while the rest comes down. And even though this drops, it's also dropping in a very straight line. If I never so slight arc and delay, just texture and just make it less IK. And it pops over one frame at the end. That is cool. <sighs> Why is it so? <sighs> that feels a bit weird. You got a little sharp forward move here. And boop. That feels a bit weird. Also, because there's no rotation change in the head. So this feels like a head align, IK head, with a sudden pop going forward. Now, what you need here, through all of this here, there is no head movement, meaning it feels like it's just uh, like a, a simple body move and the lip sync is kind of copy pasted to it. Why is it so hard? Like, why is it, why is it so hard? Like, why is it so she could drop the head a bit, rotation down, and then hard, she can come back up a bit. It's so hard to find a good man. And then she could go, go back up, for instance, find a good man. And then man, go back down, maybe to the side. So you got to work your head a bit more with the um, audio and how she says things and the lip sync. So it doesn't feel so uh, copy pasted, like I said. But... <sighs> Why is it so hard to find a good man? Uh, these guys drift a bit. Let's grab, you can see how they're continuously moving. You can come down, stop a bit, go down again, stop a bit. And, you know, so again, some textures, there's some variation in the movement. But as a whole... Love it! Good stuff. Uh, this guy, let me see. Let's readjust here. Well, you need to counter me. Um, so, okay, so this one I'm thinking hospital scene and maybe someone is dying and they need help or the patient needs something from 128, which is here, to 139, this thing, okay. I'm not really happy with it, but I'm not sure what I can do there. 
Uh, and from 170 on, you haven't touched it, which is the end. Yes. Let's see. Whoa, wait, my sound. There you go, sorry. I can't let this happen. I will not allow it. I mean, look at these people. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I... So I know this is a little rock, but uh, in general, watch out. So even when you do something like this, right? Your current blocking, it just has a head move. But it doesn't involve anything else. You got to have a little bit of a post change on this here. So when you move that head, it's going to take the chest with it. Is he going to straighten or is he going to lean over? What does that mean? Like, what is that head turn meaning in terms of acting? Like, what is he looking? Oh, is he frustrated? You know, if he's frustrated, that will be a change in body composition to to show that emotion. Um, is it hesitation? Is it? I don't know what it is. So this feels a bit nondescript. That is way too fast. Um, even in, in your blocking, you can start offsetting the things a bit, so it feels a bit pose to pose, but it feels also a bit dance-like. He comes out in a very swooping, arky manner, and the hand out. This this hand pose contradicts this one, so it feels like <clears throat> yeah, this feels very delicate, and it's way too fast given his mass and everything. And then it feels just like it drifts down. Nothing else kind of moves. I'm quite sure what's going on here. Like the this cadence, can't let this happen. Like all that. There's a certain rhythm to it that you would feel and see in the chest and the body, how he says all that stuff. So this counters that again. It feels too soft. How the body moves here. This feels a bit weird because it's almost like this arm counters the move. Like it all it almost tries to stick in place. And he's trying to, he's kind of leading with the chest a lot. It's a bit of a weird move. It's almost like he's leading this with this dragging to then come into a swing. So it feels weirdly body driven and animated. It doesn't feel like a performance. But I still like this idea. That. I mean, it's very minimal in terms of what I would keep, but that is really great. That section is still awesome. And then it feels weird, like then he goes down to like, hmm, what's over there? It's very, very bent over, uh, arms back, and we also losing his face a bit. Be careful. I mean, look at these and he comes back way too fast again for his mass. Then it's very twin there and posing. Look at these people. Um. So the thing is, it doesn't. The set will definitely inform some different acting choices and movements, and if he looks at things or whatever, you know, maybe maybe there's someone, there's a bed here, and someone is dying here or something, and that's what he looks at. But even if you just switch the set to something else, it's just the acting choices are a bit simple. The movements don't quite work with the audio. So I'm curious if you shot reference, if you have anything to look at, any reference or thumbnails or ideas. Um... I feel like there's a certain theme missing. I'm not quite sure what certain acting choices are. And the only thing to me that really works is this section through here. But I do like that you're taking a step and a step. It's good that he uses space. You can probably just push that a bit more. Given his agitation, you know, you can also think about he's so frustrated, right? So it could also be that he's pacing back and forth and then stops and comes forward. You know, that could be something where he can use the space a bit more. Um, he feels very, very confined in this area here, despite that turn. Um, so I don't know. I'm just curious what your process is in, in choosing those moments. And uh, if you looked at any existing movie reference or if you shot someone or you shot yourself, um, I think that's going to help me help, you, help guide you in a way. Um, yeah, so let me know. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.